I am Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And we are here today to give you our review of Scream 6. And I will tell you, we will first start with non-spoiler thoughts. And later in the video, we will go into some spoilers. Because how do you talk about Scream and not get a little spoiler? That's uh, kind of far, part of the fun of these movies. But we will give fair warning when yes. we get to that point. So right, we will, again, we'll start with our non-spoiler thoughts. Uh, my initial thought of Scream, and you guys too, you guys, if you have watched our reaction of Scream 5, you know, I had some strong feelings about some of the decisions that they made, mainly what they did to Dewey. Um, but so what, yeah. what did I think of this one? Uh, well, my initial thoughts on this is I personally thought this movie was better than 5. I liked it more than five as well. I think they, now it's still to me, okay, so this is both a positive and a negative. Uh, this movie definitely like leans into horror. Uh, very like Ghostface is intense in this movie. And and Ghostface has always been intense, but he's also always been kind of clumsy. Like he might yeah. he might run into the fridge. Right. But, but it made sense in the movies because Ghostface is just like a, a normal person that is bad. He's just like, <laughs> he's just like you and me. But in this movie, like Ghostface is menacing. Like he's, yeah. he's precise. There's precision to his kills and what he does. Like he truly is a threat that you're like, how are you going to escape this? That's how you, he's that yeah, posing. It's true. You feel that. So if you like that, I think you'll enjoy this. And it did throw me being in the city. It kind of took a while to feel screamish for me just because of that purpose. Uh, but but it definitely gets that scream feel uh, eventually. And I will say, I do think leaning more into horror, they have, and I said this about the fifth one, it lacks that Wes Craven humor. Yeah, that's true. It's definitely a way more serious tone overall. Yes. Even though they do add lighthearted moments. And that, like that, that did comedy. make me laugh. Yeah, it's not that it's like totally absent. It's just not, it, it's in a different way than it used to be. So, I mean, it's like maybe you either like that or don't like that. But I thought some of that humor, some almost lightheartedness of Wes Craven's screams is what made it so charming. Yeah, personally. I think it was the combo that made it kind of fun and unique. And I will say this too, uh, one of my, uh, I think one of my criticisms of five was kind of the generic feel of the new, some of the new characters. Right. I personally think the new, all the new characters felt so, cause there's, let's see, four returning new characters. Um, I thought they were more toned down and I appreciated them a lot more in this movie. Yeah. Right. Like, like they, I don't know, somehow they just turned them down a little and it felt more realistic in a way I appreciated. They yeah. weren't as over the top in a cringy way. Uh, I thought they were better. Uh, and there is humor in this, like what she said, that definitely works. But this is, again, if you're in for like a horror movie, a slasher, I, you know, I think you will enjoy it. Uh, I, I will say that Jenna Ortega. The slashes. The slashes. Yes. There's I, definitely some slashing. Oh, there's definitely, definitely some slashing. You've been warned. A another thing I think that personally is better about six than five, five slightly had a pacing issue that I thought, again, the Wes Craven movies never had. This movie from start to finish will have you kind of on the edge of your seat. And I thought the pacing was better in this movie than five. So I overall, again, I enjoy this more than five quite a bit. Yeah. Overall. I, I agree with that. Like this was a very entertaining horror movie. Uh, so if you enjoy horror, if you enjoy slashers, I think you'll like it. Uh, I thought again, the Carpenter sisters. Now I like, you guys know, I thought Jenna Ortega was a standout in the last one, but I thought Melissa uh, Baron Baronet, or I believe it's how you say her name, uh, who, who plays Sam Carpenter. I liked her a lot more in this one. Yeah, I think she was more likable in this one. Definitely. Like, I thought them together were really good, actually, in this movie. And again, the other characters. Uh, this is not a spoiler. You guys know this from the trailer. They brought back from uh, Scream 4 Kirby. And I did enjoy the, the way they used her. It made sense. It worked. I uh, I enjoyed her her character. Being She's in the almost movie. kind of like the young version of the Gale. Yes, Don't you think that's kind of what they're doing with her character. Yes, definitely. And, and Gail is in it. And Gail, yeah. Gail is Gail. Uh, right. I loved I love Gail. Uh, I thought they had her in it. 
they definitely let this be the more the Carpenter sister thing, which maybe some people have an issue with that because there is no Nev Campbell. Uh, True. But I think if you, I know, I kept waiting. Like, is she going to be in it? At the, well, I knew she wasn't. I don't know if we're in spoilers now, but we're, we're not in spoilers. Okay. I will say this to me, they definitely indicate she will be in, in the next <coughs> one. Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. They definitely indicate she'll be in the next one. And I say that based off something uh, Gail says. Uh, I okay. just I just took it like Nev Campbell's going to be back to close out this trilogy. But I think to not have Sydney in a screen movie, this one made sense the way they told it. And it was it was a, a very enjoyable story. So let's give our rating and then we'll go into some spoilers. Uh, Natalie, what do you rate this out of five hoots? Five being max level of enjoyment. Scream got five. Scream two got five. Natalie, what does Scream um, six get? I'm going to give this three and a half. Okay. I'm going to give it four hoots on my level of enjoyment. Again, I was genuinely at the edge of my seat from start to finish. I thought it was a lot of fun for a Scream horror movie. But there was a lot of fun. There there, there was. It, it, the intensity is what's fun. Yeah, that's true. It, it does. Again, it misses some of that Wes Craven charm. Uh, and I it, potentially like, and the, this there's not even spoilers what I'm about to say because it's just a location scene. Like in the convenience store, like that uh, scene was really good. Kind of like from when it started, like I was kind of like, you know, kind of had me. Like, and do you, you know, know, it's just the, like you said, the anticipation or it, that was a good scene. Do you know another scene that well was done. great for well done anticipation? The subway scene. Yeah. At that's the, towards true. the end of the movie. You guys have kind of seen pieces of that in the trailer, but the, the subway scene, they really build the anticipation of where kind it's goes. Some space. like tight situations and it's just, yeah, it's, they're they're pretty well done. So they, well. they are well done. So again, I, I enjoyed this one. I give it four hoots. I think I gave three. I think I gave, uh, or I they gave five, two and a half or three hoots, but I give this one four. I enjoyed it a lot more than, and it doesn't make some of the same sinful mistakes <laughs> that that five made. I'll just say that wink, wink. If you guys know what made me mad in the last one, uh, definitely check out our reaction to that if you haven't seen it. Uh, so now let's let's move in just to, to to some spoilers for a few minutes. So you've been warned. If you've not seen this, you can go see the movie and come back. All right. And three, two, one. one. Well, I did not guess who who uh, who Ghostface was in this movie. I did, did you guess? I, it? I didn't either. Uh, yeah, because it is the roommate's dad, the police officer, and the roommate that you think is dead. That yes. and I was like, what? Uh, that one did trip me up. Now it is the one guy that we all thought like, why is this guy part of this group? <laughs> oh yes. Yes. I know exactly who you're talking about. Well, I guess we can say it. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah. We're in spoilers. Uh, but yeah, and I did think it was refreshing to have three ghost face in this movie. Cause that's the first time we've had, we had two in most of them. We had one and three. But then this is the first time we had three. And I, I truly really upping the ante. I truly did not guess who it was. Uh, I, I, I couldn't, I really couldn't figure out who it was like until the very, very end, the, right before it was revealed. I, I pieced two and two together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that was, that was interesting. And then also I will say this, I, whether I liked this movie and gave it a good review, literally hinged on whether they were going to kill Gail or not. Because yeah, if, if they, if they were, a, and they make you think it's going to happen. I thought it had happened for a moment. Oh, and, you know, I will say that, <laughs> that people who should die, die. I mean, don't die <laughs> in this right, movie. True. I'm like, you're not coming back from that, but some people do. <laughs> but I kind of like that, say, Chad came back at the end. Yeah. I, I don't have an issue with that because Scream is that way. Like, Dewey gets stabbed how many times and makes it? I mean, I wondered <laughs> myself if Dewey would make an appearance again in this one. Like, maybe he didn't, you know, because it, it, you, you just really never know these things. Yeah, you don't. But, but, uh, but yes, the fact that Gail lives and it's Gail's line, tell Sydney he didn't get me. I, that's why I just feel Sydney will be back in the next one. They'll work out the contract with Nev Campbell. You've right. got to, people. Yeah. You've got to get Nev Campbell back uh she had the best line in, in the episode or the scary scream five but uh yeah so i am happy with this movie because gail did it die because if they repeated 
the Star Wars sequel trilogy and killed them off one by one. I know. And that's, that's no. the way I was starting to think it was going. No. And someone said in the comments that Wes Craven never wanted Gail, obviously, Gail or Sydney to die. So if they kill Gail or Sydney, I'm out. Like yeah. at this point, you just got to let them live. Like they are what they're survivors. You yes. just let them survive. And, and as they so say, they do best. And just let them do it. Well, and as they even say, like Sydney deserves a happy ending. Yes, yeah. Sydney and Gail both deserve a happy ending at this point. And the Carpenter sisters. We'd be sad if any either one of them died at this point. Like it's true. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it as far any other spoiler territory. Not that I can think of. I just didn't want to tell in the non-spoiler that Gail lived because that because that scene true. that scene did have me on my edge and I was about right. to I get so sure. mad. It could have gone either way very easily. I mean, if they would have killed Gail, this would have been a rant. That's what this would have been. It would have been we 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 march, we hit the streets at ten, we ride. <laughs> like we, we ride. ride. Yeah, because I would have been so upset, but I was so happy that they did it. Because I mean, come on, Gail Gail's been through like as she says, like ten of these. Like come She's on, been stabbed a few times. Yeah, she she has. Um, and I also She's still kicking though. I will say this through the movie. I thought, what would I do if I'd lived through this many of these? And I've come to this conclusion. One. Once Ghostface is out and about, I would have a, a vest on. That's one. Two, I would have a gun on my hip. Three, I would full blown. I like that Michelle thinks so deeply into these scenarios. I was thinking what I would do throughout the whole movie. Three, I would sew Steve Harrington and have a bat that has nails in it. And it would be waiting for Ghostface. That's what would happen. Because then he couldn't get me with this knife because I'm swinging my, my Steve Harrington bat. And... Taking care of Ghostface. Protection comes in layers, you know, is what they say. <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of our spoiler thoughts. But overall, I, I did, I was highly entertained. I, that's the way I'd word it. It was, it. It, was for, it was entertaining. I mean, if you guys like these kind of movies, mm -hmm. I say, you know, why not? Yeah, so that's I enjoyed I it. Say. But what did you guys think of this movie? Uh, share your thoughts below. Did you like it better than five? Not as good as five. Uh, you can share your rankings of all the screen movies below. But if you are not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also give the video a thumbs up. And as anyways, uh, as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a, a force, force of, of light. light. All right. Bye, bye. guys.